Okay, Hans, how are you doing? I am glad you came back. This is part two of the chocolate chip cookies homemade. My teenager son, he whipped up this batter for you guys. So I hope you all appreciate it. Okay, you guys, this is how it's looking. He's going to go ahead and scoop these up with the scooper and he's going to get them in this dish. The reason why I'm using my little flat dish here because I don't have any parchment paper today. So we're going to go ahead and put it on this fine dish because this dish I use it for a lot of things and it do not stick. While he's scooping that out, I'm going to go ahead and get the oven on. Um, he's going to put these in the oven for around about 10 to 12 minutes on 350. So I'm going to go ahead and get the oven ready here. I'm going to go ahead and put it on 15 so it can be like preheating. And he can go ahead and uh, put them in on, actually I'm going to do 14. By that time he's going to scoop them out and the oven will be preheating. And try to make them about the same size so they'll cook up perfect. And you can't put them uh, right beside each other. You got to space them out a little. We're only going to do about three of them in this dish. That's about three of them. I'm space them out. And I use that dish for a lot of baking. That's good. And I'm going to kind of move this one around a little bit. Get that one around so I don't want them to get kind of close. And I think he got one of them a little bigger than the other one. But that will be just fine. So the oven is ready. And he's going to go ahead and get these in the oven for around about 10 to 12 minutes. And we'll be right back. You guys, make sure you check out part one so you can see everything he put in the mixture here. Uh, while his cookies are in the oven, he's going to go ahead and get his little plate over here ready. So in his spatula, so when they're done, he can get them on the spatula to show you guys. But like I said, if you can check out part one to see everything he put in here and you can make this for your kids and for your family now if you like a softer cookie you can go ahead and just make sure that you leave them in for about maybe eight minutes if you want your cookie to be on the softer side but when these come out, he's going to let them cool for maybe around about maybe three minutes. And he's going to take them out and show you guys as soon as they come out the oven. But as you can see, it's been sitting in the refrigerator for 45 minutes. And your dough, this is the consistency that you want your dough to be on. You want it to get in that spoon or whatever you're doing, like an ice cream soup scooper, just like that. And this is going to make plenty. Like I said, check out part one of this video. Because if you want to use this batter, this dough, for like a party or anything, this would be a great recipe. It'll make plenty or just on that school night on a weekend where the kids have done all their work you might want to make up this dough for them this will be a really good recipe where you'll save a lot of money because i know sometimes cookies dough can get expensive in the store so just check out that recipe you guys that's why i like to do a lot of my homemade 
everything, a lot of things homemade. So I can't afford to make things for my family. And it scratches a long, long way. And we're probably going to make just around about six uh, of large cookies. Because I think those are going to come out pretty large. And we're just going to probably do like six. And then we'll just have enough left for at least another week and a half. We're going to get these and we're going to get them in a container. And we're going to put that lid on the con con container and get these in the ref uh, refrigerator, top of the refrigerator. And when we get ready to cook some more, we'll just let them sit out for maybe uh, 20 to 30 minutes before we bake again. But I think he did a really great job, you guys. Look how that's looking. But this bowl is going to make plenty. I hope you guys are doing well this evening. And this, like I said, this recipe will be good for like a lot of events that you have coming up, birthday parties or anything. I probably plan on making um this uh, recipe again or I'll just let him make it up. And sometimes they can add some of the... Um, Little candy M&M's if they want a candy M&M cookie. Like he can just add some M&M's to these right here. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about because I think he's going to go grab them. Give me a container over there. Okay, this is in here. And you can buy your m and from the store. And like I said, this can be like something that you can do for like if you want to uh, take it to a friend's house. If the child is having like a sleepover or something, this will be something great to make for their sleepover. I just like to have them on hand. Sometimes if I'm inviting inviting some of my nieces over or my nephews over, kids really love cookies and they really love those homemade cookies. And I like getting in the kitchen and I'm glad my son is interested in learning how to, you know, bake a lot of things and cook a lot of things. This is the candy M&M's right here. And they can just add these little M&M's to um, the mixture if they like. And I'm just going to add those in just like that. I cleaned my oven out today, you guys. That was one of the things I was doing earlier today. I'm going to go ahead and take that dough off of that. I don't want to waste anything, so I'll make sure I'm scraping the spoon. But if you do add the little M&Ms, even though if these, these are your chocolate chip cookies, but they can be a chocolate chip M&Ms because if you look in the store, they sell a Chips Ahoy chocolate M&M. And I think it um the Chips Ahoy chocolate chip with the candy in it. So I know they sell those at Walmart, but if you want to add the uh, M&Ms in, only thing you do is just, you know, put them in there and they're going to form up just the same. And then you're going to go ahead and just, you know, drop it on your sheet and then your M&M is going to just cook up with your cookie, with the cookie dough. I know a lot of people, they freeze this 
cookie dough and they let it get a little on the harder side and they'll, they'll roll up just little small pieces and let it freeze like that. And then they'll put it on like on the top of, of some vanilla ice cream. I have saw people actually get this raw cookie dough, let it get really, really hard, make it into really small bites. And then they'll put it on top of ice cream, you know, when they want to have some ice cream. So, yeah, we're going to make a, several of them with the M&Ms inside of there once those come out. And they got about five more minutes, five to six more minutes. So comment down below if you like to. I'm just over here raking something else out. I cooked some um, shrimp fried rice for dinner. And I'm just packing up the rest of that, the leftovers. To get in a container and get them put up for the night. But comment down below if you guys like to make your homemade cookies instead of buying them at the store. And I'm going to let my son talk to you guys for about a couple minutes. Maybe he can um, just let you know a few things that he like to cook. You can tell him how you like to cook. What's one of the things that you like to cook? I know you like to do your wrap, your ham and cheese wrap. You can tell him how you prepare it. Yeah, I, I, get, the, I get the wrap first, and then I get the meat. I wash my meat off, and then I, I, I prepare the um the shell, and I put and I put butter on it, and I and I wait until the meat gets done, and then I get the shell and the cheese, and I put the shell on top. I put the, I put the shell first, and then the meat, and then the cheese. Then I wrap it up and then I put it in the oven. And another thing I like to cook is eggs and sausages. Most time I do a uh, um most time since 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 this quarantine, what I do is I make my own my own sausage mac chicken. Not sausage mac chicken, but you know, um the um what's it called? Sausage and biscuit. I make my own. I put. I get my sausage, my bread. I grill my. I grill my bread. Then I get my sausage and my cheese. And then I will sit the um, the grill the, the um, sandwich on top of the stove until the cheese melt. Yeah, you guys. I mean, he made that about a week ago. It was one day I wasn't feeling good. And you can tell he loved his mom because he said, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to make something. And I said, no, you probably don't need to get in the kitchen. I'm not feeling good, so I don't want, you know, you to go in there and maybe have an accident. But he was well. He did well. I told him how to, actually, I really didn't have to tell him how to do his oven, his eye, eyes, you know, keep him on low. But he did really, really good. And um, he made that, um, that wrap and that... Um, so tortilla shell, it was kind of like on a little crunchy side, and then melted cheese was just scratching all out. He cooked that ham to perfection, cause we like to kind of get our uh, deli sliced meat. We kind of rinse it off just a little, cause it have a lot of salt in it most of the time before we fry it, you know, on top of the stove. But he did a really, really good job, and it was so good. And I said, "Boy, you made this even." <laughs> Yeah, I made it. I told you. And I'm like, yeah, you told me it was really good. And I really appreciate it. You know, appreciate it that day because I wasn't feeling really, really good. And he came in here and throw down. And it was also doing the winter storm. So, I mean, that was, it was cold outside, but he put a lot of warmth up in 
um, cooking that sandwich and uh, it just made me feel even better. But you guys, I think the oven is going to go off here in just a little bit. I think those cookies are forming up really, really good. And I think they're going to be on the, um, I think they're going to be, I just looked at them. Looks like they need about a couple more minutes. It was in there about 10. So I'm going to start it up again and I'm going to give it a few more minutes. But they probably going to be on the larger size side. And that'll be perfectly fine. And they might come out like in a kind of like a square shape since we use this square dish. But chocolate chip cookies can be in a square shape. They can be in a hard shape if you have the little hard stencil. They can actually be in any shape that you prefer. The main point is they taste good. So that's what we really pushing for. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be divine because I have used this is my recipe. And I just wanted him to go ahead because they love chocolate chip cookies. And I don't like buying the $4 packs of cookies out of Walmart, my local grocery store. So I said, we'll make them. And then we'll have plenty, plenty to make several batches of cookies whenever you guys want it. And now he know how to come and pop them in the oven and put them on 10 to 12 minutes. If you want them a little darker, you just put them on about maybe 15 to 16 minutes to make sure they are that darker brown that you like them. I don't like mine on the, you know, the chewy side. I like mine just to cook a little, little longer. And after they cool down, you get you a cold, cold glass of milk. And you cannot go wrong with that chocolate chip cookie. And we're, like I said, we're going to throw them a few of those candy chocolate chip cookies in the oven. Let them get one or two and get them some cold milk. And we're probably going to catch us a, like a little small movie. And then we're going to get our tea brush. And we're probably going to be hitting the bed very after we watch our movie. But everything went so well today. I thank God for that. Everybody got up and we got classes done, got chores. You know, I'm not going to say chores, but to me, it's my daily routine. Washing, folding clothes, uh, cleaning my kitchen, mopping. That's something I really do almost every day. But uh, we got that done kind of early. So it was a great, positive, motivating day. So I thank God for that. I thank God that we got in this kitchen and I thank God for my son being motivated to want to try and, you know, help out in cooking or if this is something that he have a niche for, I thank God that he'll, you know, be passionate about it, take his time and just make great dishes. Maybe one day he can use these great recipes in a career or he'll have a lot of great recipes that he can cook for his own family one day. And that will be really, really great. And learn how to save and budget. But I hope my hunts are doing well tonight. I hope you guys get to make this for your family, like I said once before. I always try to bring to my channel easy saving dishes that you can make you can save money and stretch that dollar but yeah i said i had a positive day i even cleaned out my oven really really good so it's sparkling like brand new something that i had put off and i knew i had to go ahead and you know get it done so that's done and I don't have to worry about it because the children know once I clean it, I will not be cleaning it for a long time because I don't believe in messes. So I tell them to make sure you're not dropping anything. Try to be a little careful because, you know, I love to clean, but no one wants to clean, clean, clean all the time. 
And then when you have children as, you know, teenagers and stuff, you know, they'll be more responsible than, you know, the little younger kids that's four, five, you know, dropping stuff. Four and five years old, they shouldn't be by the stove anyway. But sometimes the younger kids, they might drop something, you know, on the floor or something like that. That's understandable. And they're five years old and they know how to, you know, pick that up and put it in the trash or whatnot. But um, when they're older, 16, 17, and they drop something in the oven, okay, that is what a soapy towel is for, to get it out. Get it out before, you know, it get on that harder side. Then it'll be more harder to get out. But my son wanted to share with you guys while I'm checking on these cookies. He also has another talent. He's going to show you guys some of his drawings, and that's something he's also passionate about. He's going to show you um, some pictures that he have been drawing on. I told him he's really, really talented. A lot of times he'll do a lot of cartoon characters. Um, he'll do those on his own. And a lot of your children, if you have children, they are probably familiar with some of these drawings. I think he says Narco. Little teddy bear here. That he's probably going to be finishing up soon. But show him your cartoon character. This is one of his little cartoon characters. And he done named it. What is this? Slicer? Slicer. That's one of his little characters. So he draw a lot of little funny characters. And some of those characters remind me of um, the characters that might be. Some of them, when he do those little faces on them, um... They remind me of some of the cartoons that they have watched in the past. But yeah, these are some of his drawings that he's, you know, drawn himself. Like I told you, really, really good at those drawings. But those are the drawings that he wanted to share with you guys. So I, I told you, have a lot of talents. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, we have to thank God when we have those uh, talents that we have. Okay, you guys, I knew they were going to come out like in like a little square little shape, but that's perfect. You know, that's fine. This is how they look. And while they are still warm, boo, while they still warm, he's going to go ahead and reach your hands off. He's going to add some chocolate chips on top of this. While it's still kind of on the warm side. We love those chocolate chips. So we're going to let him go ahead and just add some chocolate chips while they're still on the warmer side. And then we're going to let them cool. We want those chocolate chips to melt on top of there. So he's just going to get a few in his hand and put about four on each cookie. He's going to kind of have to press them down a little bit inside the cookie. Not all the way down, not hard. We just want to get those extra inside of there before they get cooled. And these extra chocolate chips, they're going to melt as they're cooling off. We love the chocolate chips. Just barely, you don't have to press them all the way. Just barely put it in, you know, right there. And put a one or two at the top. I'm just going to put it down and you can push it down there. So I'll let you push that one down. Okay. This one. Okay. Close these up. Twist them up really, really good. And put those in that drawer in the refrigerator. This is how they look. And we're going to get these in the refrigerator in the top of the freezer for around about maybe two minutes. I don't want them to get really, really hard so I can go ahead and scoop them out and get them on the plate. So we're going to let these cool in the top of the refrigerator for around about maybe two minutes. Maybe three. 
But while he's doing that, well, I, while we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and get me some milk to go with my cookie. I'm just going to eat probably a half of one. We're going to catch up a movie. Not nothing real long. Sometimes you can find those uh, little cartoon movies for about an hour. We catch us one of those. And I'm going to pour me some milk in my glass. And then I'm going to put that back in there for me. I'm going to put my milk in the top of the refrigerator so it can kind of be getting kind of colder. I like my milk real cold. Got me a bottle of water in there as well. So I'll be drinking a little milk and then I'll be drinking a little um little milk and a little water. Over here put my dishes up. Put this in my pantry, what we used earlier then. Or so. So we got maybe around about maybe we're gonna let that cool down. I know I said about two minutes. Two minutes, but I'm gonna go ahead and let it cool down about three more minutes to make sure. To make sure they uh Cool enough for me to take them out. Just over here, y'all know your hand full more. I say that in every video. I'm just over there rinsing my get my dishes soaked up and rinsing them out. I like to go ahead and wash my dishes. Whatever I'm cooking, I like to have that already done. So when I'm done eating, I can relax a little bit, and I don't have to worry about cleaning my kitchen after I eat. I like to do that while my food gets done, if I'm baking cornbread, whatever I'm baking, something on the stove top. And something I haven't done is a crock pot meal. I, I'm going to have to do a crock pot meal for you guys. One, one crock pot meal. And I like to get all this done. Washing, cleaning, wiping down while my food is getting ready. So I will be free afterwards. This has been a day. I thank God for this day. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to push the like button. Don't forget to comment. Subscribe. Please subscribe. And share with every, every, everyone. Okay, we're going to go ahead and Take these cookies out. They've been here maybe three minutes. They're still a little warm on the bottom, but I'm going to see.
And I'm just, I just got the spatula here going around the sides. This looks like a grape cookie. Like the ooey gooey. I'm not going to say ooey gooey. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Right consistency that we wanted to get them to come out as. I'm going to have to get to the store and get me some parchment paper so I can use my other little, little, uh, green plate on here for you. This is how they came out. They cooled. So we're going to put them on this plate here. I'm going to let him do one, but that's how it looks. But y'all see the dish. We ain't not, we ain't faking it. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to get it down on that dish holder for me. Get you a... You just hold it. And I'm just going to... I don't know what that is on my finger. Just going to scoot it on the plate. And you can see by adding them extra chocolate chips, it's chocolate chips all through that cookie. And we're going to let him put that last one down on the plate. Okay. And like if you don't use something square, you can use like a circle. I mean a pan and you know the longer you pan and then you get more cookies on it. But if you want it to come out in a shape like this, you can use a square dish. But you guys, these are our homemade chocolate chip cookies. Your handful of mom and son. We out of here, you guys. Don't forget to comment. Don't, to, don't forget to subscribe. And please like this video. See you later, my hunts.